Okay, this is the second uh, simulation looking at uh, hover pucks in a race. Uh, this time it's between the black and the red. Uh, here's the black hover puck up here, and here's the red hover puck down here. Our finish line is to the right, again, a certain distance away. Uh, we've got the time meter up here, so we'll be able to look at the time. Again, just like in the first one, we're going to leave behind tracks of where they're located at every certain point in time, and we're going to compare their two motions. So at this point, we're going to start the race. Uh, notice that unlike the first time, we're both started in the same place at the same time. Uh, there is a difference. Looks like the uh, black puck has a head start. It's a little bit out in front of the red puck. Boom. Okay, there's the end of our race. Uh, now notice that the, even though the black puck did have a head start, the red puck managed to catch up and uh, pass it. Now, again, you should start to be able to notice some differences in the tracks uh, for faster and slower moving objects. Um, the graphs can also tell you certain things. Like, uh, unlike uh, in our first case, we had three different lines that never intersected. Here we actually have a intersection occurring, so hopefully you can use that to figure out what's going on. Again, this is the end of the race at 3.6 seconds this time. Uh, again, roughly 15 meters away from the start line for the uh, red puck anyway. Um, but you can see they're not in the same position at that time. The uh, red puck's the only one to have actually reached the finish line. So just like in the first simulation, what you want to do is, uh, for these questions here, uh, in black, you want to look at these tracks, uh, compare their distances apart, and um, look at where they're in the same place at the same time. Again, in this situation, these are zero time. So these two go together, and then 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 these two go together, and these two, and finally these two, in terms of where they're located at the same time. Uh, then for the blue questions, you'll want to look at the graph over here with the race that's being over uh, and compare how they're similar, again, how they're different. Uh, a lot of what we try to do is, in the physics world, is to see things happen then try to describe them as thoroughly as possible. A lot of that requires you to be able to find similarities between motions or other things and differences between them so that you can show how two things are similar and how two things are different. Okay, you'll want to pause the video and look at the questions and answer the questions for both the tracks and the graphs at this point in time.